Hello everyone, welcome to kind of a special episode of Most CD Culture Show and Tell. This is a bit of a different type of video that I would normally make. What what it's about is that I'm going to pro I'm trying to promote a little bit about the the local talent around around this area that is actually pretty decent. I will admit that the music most of it is in French, but just there's a couple of songs that are in English. So I'm gonna just get into it, and you'll see as I go along what I'm talking about. I'm I'm gonna introduce here an artist named Francine McClure, and the name of the album is called La Ballade de Jean Melm, and it's uh that's an actually actually that's an English song on the album. There's only six songs on this album. It's only 20 minutes long, and it is a local talent. This was given to me as a gift from, actually I know the artists that are on this. They live in my building. They're, they're an older couple that, that are really awesome. They, they kind of smoke up in the back, in the back of the shed behind the building here. And, and when I go out and spend time with my neighbors, I love talking music with them. And there, yeah, there's Francine, Francine McClure. And there's a uh, Robert Cormier that's on the bass, and yeah, I talk to them all the time, and they were talking about you know being being musicians and doing and doing albums and stuff. Excuse me, I still get a, I still have a stuffy nose, so bear with me on that. I'm sorry, but yes, I actually kind of like this. Uh, four of the songs are in French. Two songs are in are are in English. I'm not going to go to to I'm not going to go through the track list, but the song that I really like is the English one called Moon Dream, which is really good. Um Avant to is good. That was her trip that was about her trip going to New Orleans and now when you listen what I like about this album, okay, is if you don't know the person, if I would just to play it for anybody and I would ask them Guess the age of the woman singing in this album. You would think it was a young girl, like probably in her early 20s or even or, or so. You wouldn't be able to guess the age. But she, I, I believe she's like 76. And Robert, who plays guitar on it, is, is 68. I might be just a little off on her age, but she is pretty up there in the age. She's like, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's... Uh, She's 70, yeah, 76. Yeah, that, no, that's it. She is 76. There's kind of a, whoop, there's kind of a picture of her right there, you know, playing her guitar. And, yeah, yeah, very lovely people. And there's a, also on the band there, there's a, a Maggie Savoie, a, a, a Matt Gallant, and a Mike Trask who uh, produces it and everything. And he's a pretty accomplished musician. I'm still gonna. I still need to listen to some more of his stuff. I have to check him out on YouTube because you can find Mike Mike Trask on YouTube. And of course, they uh, Francine signed it for me. I'm, I I made them sign it, and 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 uh, and and Robert Cormier signed it. She put bon écoute, which means good listen, and he put here. Uh, he put here. Uh, oh, sorry, wrong finger. So to a good, uh, to a good found new friend, Robert Cormier. Yeah, I had them sign the inside because it's just it's cool. They're local talent. They their albums are only available around the area. You can buy them at Frank's Music, of course. They going they're only going for fifteen dollars each. And well, this one here was gifted to me by them because they know I appreciate music and I told them I was going to make a video about this and so yeah but that's the album they gave me they lent me a couple of other artists from local artists around here okay and this one here it's a Lisa Leblanc and it's the name of the album is called Chiac Disco and if you don't know what the word shiak means, okay, it's a special type of type of word that's around that's only basically around this area. Shiak means it's a kind of a slang speak where they 
where they it's it's French, mostly French, but they throw in a lot of English words into the slang. So so this here has a like the all, all the lyrics has a, these real kind of special slang to them. So it's really regional to this area, pretty much to the to the Maritimes of of, of Canada, and especially New Brunswick. And I mean. I believe she comes from a little town called Shidia. I'm not exactly sure. I probably could find that out somehow. There's there's full liner notes and everything, you know. There's great lyric there's all lyrics here and everything. So where is that from? Does it say? You know, it was helped created in part by the government of Canada, help create this. And believe it or not, this has actually d done some, some like really well in Canada. And I, I understand French. I understand French very well. Uh, I lived in Montreal for ten and a half years, as you may know if you watch my videos. And I, I actually kind of like this. The voice was voice. I was, I heard from this wasn't what I was expecting here. But once you get like once the expectation kind of goes away, you're like, yeah, I, I enjoy it. It's very, of course, it's very disco. It's so, it's so, it's so like '70s style disco, and they they nailed the whole disco tone. But of course, it's in that French Chiac uh, dialect that that slang I was talking about. And yeah, I actually enjoy this. It's it's really well done. All every song is in French, and yeah, yeah. This was actually um uh, the, um of course I'm I've only been I've only I've only borrowed this. They, well, they offered to lend it to me, and they wanted to know what I thought of it. And yeah, I enjoyed this very very much, much more than I was expecting to enjoy it. It doesn't have that typical kind of uh, Acadian flavor to it. That like, like I will admit that this this is very much more Acadian folk type, but it's 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 a good arrangement. It's more bluesy at, at times than that, and I I've played this at least three times now, and yeah I've enjoyed this very much. And then I want, then they also lent me another album. By a uh, Julie Obey, contentma, contentment basically means being content, and yeah, again, very good packaging. You know, there's the back cover, there's the song titles. Only one English song on it, which is the second to last song called "Sad Stranger," which is awesome. Uh, I just played that actually today before before. For the first time today, before showing making this video, and I really enjoyed this very, very, very much. Again, uh, surprising that I liked it more than I thought I would. It's again, it, you could, you could if if it was more in English, and you could have plucked it right out of the '70s because it has such again another '70s feeling to it. Like it, like it was made in the 70s, but although it wasn't, it was more towards, yeah. This was, I think it was uh, created in 20, yeah, 2022. So it's a very recent album. Same thing, uh, this one here was created in, yeah, also 2022. So these are, these are actually quite new, but, but actually fantastic. And they don't have that, and they're and again they're not in that uh, Acadian, you know, maritime French as I kind of was expecting. It's like I'm not much of an Acadian French type of fan. Although you know I have nothing against it whatsoever. It's usually not my flavor because uh, I have heard some before, and it's not usually my jam. But these are hip. I would have to say these are these two albums are really hip and and what I'm I, what I'm looking for in music. Musically, it's top notch, awesome production. And again, I think this 
if this if this Mike Trask on this also. So it was produced by, yep, yeah, produced again by Mike Trask, who also produced my Good Friends album here. So Mike Trask is also in there. Some of the players on this is on this. Yeah, there's a yeah, May, like uh, I think uh, the Maggie Savoie is on this. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, there I know there's the. There, there, that there are people that played on, even people who played on this played on this. So they're all kind of interconnected in some in some in some fundamental way. So yeah, I'm actually enjoying exploring this much more much more so than I was expecting. I knew they were going to be decent, but they're actually better than yeah, way better than I thought. Now there's this here, okay. Which is also Maggie Savoie, you know, which, which again, yeah, yeah, Maggie Savoie, uh, it's called Appalachius, and it's Maggie Savoie, who also, and if you can see, her name is right there, Maggie Savoie, on guitars, and this is Maggie Savoie, so, so, again, like I said, they're all interconnected, but, unfortunately, I couldn't play this, I didn't actually get to hear this, because, because I'm, it's for some reason the uh, the, the I'll, I'll show you the album is all scratched up and and unplayable on my player. But you know they lent it to me. But I'm gonna do them a favor this weekend. I'm gonna go over to Spin It, the the, the local shop, and they have a they have a, a, a disc polisher. And I'm gonna go and get them to polish this up so that it will be playable. Like I, I, it's, I'll pay out of my own money for sure. It, it's gonna be a gift to them. It's no big deal whatsoever to me. It's my pleasure actually to do that so that I would be able. I yeah, I want to get this cleaned up so I can actually get the chance to play it and 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 sample this for sure for sure. I think it's so awesome. You know, well, so far all these, all these that I've played so far are I I I, I super enjoy. Yeah, they're, they're they they are good, but I want I want I really want to give this a chance and 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 sample that. So that's why I'm going to get this cleaned up for them. No extra charge to them whatsoever. So when I give it back to them later on, it'll be in way better condition than when I when when they lent it to me. And now this, um, the bass player on this, uh, Robert Robert Cormier, who who I'm a really good friends with now, who lives in my building, and like I said at the beginning of the ep of, of this video, I get to hang out with them out back, and they'll even for me and the other neighbors, okay, they will come out and and they bring out their guitar. She brings out this uh this harmonica thing that she can wear on her neck and she plays her guitar and he'll bring out some he's a bass player, but he brings out these bongos and he play he'll play bongos and they they and they'll sing for us. They'll entertain us for free. And they're doing a they're actually going to be doing a a show like a, where they're going to be playing this whole album in 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 its entirety and maybe some more songs uh, at the Aberdeen Center in Moncton, New Brunswick here at uh, it, it, the show starts at 7 p.m. and it's on October 25th. So if you are in the area, happen to be in the area, I don't know if any of my fans or my subscribers are in this area that could join I'm unfortunately have to work that day. I I don't I might see about taking that day off, but but I really need the money so I want to stay. I like working and and would rather work, you know, but it, it kind of yeah, I'm kind of torn between like working cuz I, you know, of course you got a man's got to work and and going to see this concert, but I got the CD. They play, they play for me in out back, and I I really enjoy it. Some of my my other neighbors, they really enjoy it way 
like so 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 much and I think that's pretty cool that they do that for us here and there but he had made he this is this was made in uh yeah it says okay it was this from December 14th 11 and he said okay hey guys these four tunes recorded at the PML warehouse on 8 track in in 1993 question mark he's not quite sure this was the only reel I found unfortunately the open mic did not work well and you can only hear bass guitar the bass the guitar the snare and kick hope you enjoy this take care Bill and this was given to Robert Cormier and of course I got he lent it to me I, I, I do need to give this back but it's those four tracks it's all instrumental stuff it's really rocking and I, I'm gonna actually ask Robert if I can play some of this on the channel because it's not copyrighted by you you know you um, YouTube won't flag this down. This is nothing that uh, the like I I'm like the pro there's nobody there's no producer or record label that's going to that's going to say, "Hey, you can't play this on YouTube." So, in a future video very soon, I want to play this album for you, maybe in its entirety so that you get it like through my stereo, of course, you know. So that you can actually get a chance to hear what this sounds like, so what I'm hearing, and and I can comment on it as I play it. So so I, I'm gonna I, I'll ask them first if that's a, if that's okay, because I know YouTube can't stop me from playing this. No, not at all. Ah, again, sorry about my cold. I know I have the little sniffles here and there. But yeah, it's four tracks. It's really heavy rocking music. Like it is, it's. It, I I really liked it. I played this at least three four times now. It's only twenty two minutes long in the, in its entirety, and I really enjoy this. So yeah, yeah. This is this, this is great, great great stuff. I just still wish that I would have been able to play this, because I I really want to give. I, I love to give it anything a chance. And as I said, you know, I do I do list I do like French stuff. I mean not as much as I do the English stuff, but I had presented this on my channel quite a while back when I was talking about my foreign language albums. That the, the I, I I really up in Montreal I kinda got into this artist called Stromai. I need to play these again. And it was mis mainly for a song called A La En Danse. That, you know, and, and, and then we dance or something like that. So these are all in French. And and I bought I bought these when I, second hand when I saw them. They weren't that expensive. But when I saw them, and they're in mint condition. So I had to get them, you know, just, just to have them. And, yeah, I will be playing them again in sometime in the future. Of course, because I, I enjoy those. But just to say that I do own other French albums for sure, because I, because uh, yeah, I, I'm I like I like different languages. I wish I could speak multi multiple languages. I wish I could speak Mandarin and 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 Espanol, you know, Spanish and and German and all these all these great languages. So. I'm just going to leave it here for this episode of MoCD Culture Show and Tell. Kind of a special little different spin on, on things. And so, as always, please be safe. Take care. I will see you on the flip side. And please, everyone, have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace, everybody.